In this tutorial, I want to show you how to easily create threads using Onshape. I'll demonstrate a simpler variation using a custom feature. To add this feature, first go to Add Custom Feature at the top. Enter the link I've provided in the video description, search and the thread generator will appear. Select it with the left mouse button and confirm. This adds the thread generator. Now to design a screw, we start with a sketch on the top plane, create a polygon with a 6 mm width across flats and set a height of 15 mm. I aim to create an M6 screw. Next, place a circle in the center with a 6 mm diameter. Extrude this to form the basic shape of our screw. To add a thread, select the thread generator, choose the desired surface, and on shape automatically creates a thread. You can select various standards, the ISO standard for Europe or the ANSI standard for America. In this example, we choose the ISO standard. We have the option to create a left-hand thread by checking a box. Unchecking, it creates a right-hand thread. On shape then asks for the pitch. An M6 screw has a 1 mm pitch while an M8 would have 1.25. We keep the pitch at one. You can select the number of thread starts. We'll keep it at one. Decide whether to thread the entire length or a specific distance. Additionally, you can specify individual thread lengths, but we'll use the full length. It's important to add a start taper, a small chamfer at the beginning of the thread, making it easier to screw in. We can leave this at a 45 degree angle. A tip for 3D printing these threads, slightly reduce the size from the standard measurements. This allows for printability and ease of assembly. Design an internal thread, like in a nut, follow similar steps. Create a sketch on the top plane. Select a polygon with a 6mm width across flats. Set the height to 15mm. And create a central hole. Again, use the thread generator, select the inner surface, and choose the ISO standard with a 1mm pitch. Confirm to complete the internal thread. If 3D printing this nut slightly increase its size for a better fit with the screw. That concludes this tutorial on creating screws and nuts with internal and external threads. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next video.